Elizabeth Cullen hasn't taken her medication for nearly a year. This would usually be cause for concern, but in this case, it's all right. She's one of the few osteoporosis patients benefiting from a new treatment, which she only receives once a year. I was diagnosed with osteoporosis about seven years ago. I've received a few different medications over that time. The problem I have though is that um, I didn't tolerate them very well or quite honestly I forgot to take them. It's, you know, it's, it's difficult to remember to take a medication once a month or even once a week. So when the doctor suggested that there was this new drug that I could take once a year, come to the hospital, receive it by you know, infusion for 15 minutes and go home and forget about it for a year, I thought that was a great solution to my problem. It's estimated that one in four women in Canada over the age of 50 is living with osteoporosis. A new national survey finds that despite improving treatments and diagnosis, more than 40% of patients do not take their treatment at the frequency and dosage prescribed, putting their health at risk. Dr. Angela Chung is Associate Professor of Medicine at the University of Toronto. These women actually know they have osteoporosis. They know treatment will help prevent fractures and reduce bone loss but they're not taking their medications. It is concerning as a treating physician that these women are not taking their medications because um, unless you take them, um, they're not gonna have the benefit of the medication. Convenience seems to be a big factor at play. The survey shows that nearly half of patients cite forgetfulness as the main reason why they don't always take their medication. In fact, 82% of osteoporosis patients said they would take their medication as prescribed if it was administered only once a year. Based on the survey results, physicians should really discuss different treatment options for osteoporosis with their patients. Certainly with the once yearly infusion option, both patient and physician don't have to worry about compliance issues for a whole year. This national survey was conducted by Harris Decima in collaboration with the Medical Women's International Association and top Canadian osteoporosis experts in an effort to encourage Canadian women to discuss treatment options with their physicians to reduce the risk of fractures. Sherry Demantarko reporting. Okay.